Well, for sure at the beginning, uh, I think I got what is called a cultural shock. Um, the different language, the different way of studying, the different food for sure, like, were really, really challenging. But I think that, like, talking with my profs helped me a lot to be able to, like, understand the system and understand, like, what I need to do to succeed. And after that, like, having a lot of friends, uh, they really help you. People here are really open. They help you with your English and they do not make jokes of the way you, you speak, but actually try to help you to improve. And also, like, trying new things, going to restaurants, uh, trying to to see what, what do you like from, from the country and what you don't, like that takes time for sure. But yeah, as I said, like having a, a lot of friends and talking with other people, talking about your problems helped me a lot to overcome the cultural shock. Well, right now I am part of the student leaders. I am currently a residence life done. Uh, my role consists in being a support here for the students, especially for the first year students, try to help them to adapt to the university life. Um, we usually do run activities, build, try to build community, help them to make friends. And also we are here in case of any emergency, we live with the students and yeah, we have a lot of fun. My advice for sure is get involved into the community, really don't be scared of doing, of joining clubs, of joining like student teams or like um, any leadership position because Canada is a country of opportunities so if and the university offers you a lot of opportunities to do different activities and you can always find uh, ways to do things that you like and that will help a lot with your English and second like it will help you to meet people that will help you to adapt to the to the country so for sure get involved into the communities try to do something that you find interesting and yeah that, that's my advice